First of all, I want to thank Chancellor Cable again tonight. This is the second event that we've been able to have at the Brummett Pisgah House. So thank you so much for allowing us to use this. Yeah, give it, give a round of applause. Absolutely. And we always appreciate Chancellor Cable's support of um, UNC Asheville, not the university and certainly Bulldog Athletics. But tonight we are here to really celebrate really a partnership between the Our Turn to Play Committee and the Bulldog Athletic Fund kind of got together and said, what can we do because we can't have the Our Turn to Play normal luncheon that raises a, quite a bit of scholarship dollars. So I want to say thank you to both of those committees and the board for coming together and working just phenomenally that we were able to do this. I think we're going to maybe do $60,000 of scholarship money because of this. I also, yeah, it's really great. Um, I also want to particularly thank uh, Kelly Davis, not her team yet, but Kelly Davis, for bringing us a new friend, Don and Alexandra Clayton, who really stepped forward and did a rather significant gift um, to support this and support athletics um, scholarship funds. So Kelly, that's what we love. We love people that bring us friends who then invest in our student athletes. Thank you so much for that. The other thing I want to do is say a big thank you to Kelly's team. Everybody on Kelly's team, raise your hand. The winning team. We, we love that competition. And I think, David, what they sold, all their tickets in the fastest amount of time, they were finished asking for more tickets. But no one, no individual, can outdo the super salesperson of all raffles. And I remember the day we were talking about this on a Zoom, Mealy chimed up and said, I know how to do these raffles because my children went to uh, private schools and we had to do this. Sandy Heckman is the seller of all sellers when it comes to raffles. <laughs> So I really, and obviously everyone that's here and, and other people participated in this, and we're so excited. But we're here to find out who is going to win these five fabulous prizes. And once again, we have this great travel voucher that's $10,000 to go wherever you want to go. And people are going right now, as we're seeing. And that's a great one. We can't... Um, I really got to say a special thank you to, for not only the Omni Hotel Grove Park Inn, but Gary Frobe and Lynn, who's here tonight, they continually provide us with all these kinds of opportunities. And if we need somebody or something done, uh, help us out, friends come to town, we can always count on the Frobes to help us. So tell Gary he should be here tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next one is a Kiowa Island Golf Resort vacation. This is from a friend that actually Chancellor Cable knew in a former life, and she introduced her friend Dory Key to the university. And Dory has become really part of our champion society and said, hey, you're having a raffle. I'll donate my uh, house for a week. So that was a really great. And then, of course, although he is not drinking wine right now and is super thin, back to his pl college playing day weight, I want to really thank Mike and Melba for this great wine because some of us are drinking and it, you know, a little more than we used to because of COVID, but thank you so much for that. And then, of course, our great friends over Harris, Cherokee, uh, Brooks Robertson, and those folks who got given us a weekend, and we really appreciate that. So we're going to have five lucky winners, is that right? And no pressure on the chancellor. We will love her even if she doesn't call our raffle ticket. And I don't have a raffle ticket, by the way. So I'm going to bring Chancellor Cable up. And once again, thank you, everyone, for doing this. And we'll move to the side. And... Okay, so here's some housekeeping rules for the raffle. Tickets 1 through 100 will go in first, just so everybody sees that we are up and up. 1 through 100. Does David look like a man that's done this before? <laughs> 101 through 200. We should play Vanna. 201 <laughs> through 300. So 300 tickets are now in in the drum. So, Chancellor, if you wish, you can spin first, or I will spin for you, and then you are going to draw five winners. The Chancellor will draw 
the grand prize first and then move down this list. But we will not announce the winners until I've certified all that the tickets are correct and then we'll actually announce them in reverse order. The reason we do that, we want everybody to have a chance to win the grand prize, but we want to announce that one last. So if you wonder what's going on, she's going to hand me five tickets. I will confirm that those tickets match the ticket numbers, and then we will have the chancellor or Janet can announce the, the five winners. <laughs> chancellor Cable is generously pulling the five tickets because we needed someone whose name is not in here, and all of you people think you're going to win. So, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna split it. Yeah, we're gonna split it. Whenever we think we have had enough spinning. While we're spinning, since the anticipation is rising up, let me tell you what a hero Jana Cohn and our coaches and our team staff played all year during COVID. They kept 277 athletes healthy. They kept, therefore, our community healthy. Janet was a huge part of what we were able to do to win the prize as the lowest prevalence of COVID across all 17 UNC system schools. So just while we were turning and the anticipation is going up, I wanted to tell you that great news. Okay. All right, we ready? We're gonna draw one and if you will, Please do not reveal There's the name. You're just going to hand it to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to rustle it up here. Ticket number one. Ta -da. Thank you. Okay. That's number one. And then I will close this back up. Oh, we're going to wrestle again. Spin okay. it a little bit more. All right. Oh. We fed him beforehand, so he'll be fine in there. He'll draw another one, and again, just hand that to me. I'm sorry to... Other side here. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Are we going to roll again? Okay. Not well, my love. Not well, my FaceTime. Here's the one. Two more to go. If I don't knock the table over. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll take it there. Okay. There's Thank one. Thank you. All right. And then one final ticket to go. Congratulations to all of you for being the winning team. Division one. There we go. And the last one. Okay. All right. Just way down at the bottom. There you go. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. So now we can seal that back up. All right. And I'm going to double check the tickets very quickly. So we have the five winners, and now what we're going to do is we're going to reveal them in reverse order. Janet, would you like to announce the winners? I think you should with your great voice. Well, I tell you what, let me do this. We'll have a member of each of the, from the winning team, you can come up and announce a, a, one of the prizes. So Randy, I see you first. You're going to announce the winner to the... And use this so we can get it recorded. The first one we're going to reveal is the weekend at Harris Cherokee. The winner is Andrea Jackson. <laughs> Tom, you were on the winning team. Andrea Jackson. I got my kids in this thing. I don't want to announce my kids anymore. You were 
Okay. <laughs> so yours is going to be the case of wine from the collection of Mike and Melba Tracy. Great. Leah Ashburn. Leah! <laughs> to reveal the winner of the Kiwa Island Villa Getaway for six nights. Mike Burke. Oh, Mike Burke. Mike Burke. Next, the Omni Hotels. Sandy, as our top individual seller, please come up and... Come on, Sandy. Dr. Mark Tressler. Oh. Oh. 